Welcome to So'o Storytime. Today we're going to be reading a fun book called Eight Little Planets, words by Chris Ferry, pictures by Lizzie Doyle. I hope you enjoy this book. Now let's get ready for story time. Eight Little Planets. Eight little planets going round the sun. Could these little planets be having much fun? Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Does each one wish it were a little bit better? Old slow Neptune looks a bit behind. Orbiting the sun takes an awful long time. But the eighth little planet doesn't need to worry. It spins on its axis in a really big hurry. I see Uranus seems really quite shy. It looks a bit weird spinning on one side. But the seventh little planet still feels bold. It is pretty cool to be the most cold. Silly old Saturn looks far too busy. All those moonlets should make a planet dizzy. But the sixth little planet loves all those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. Yep. Big stormy Jupiter looks weighed down with mass. Four octillion pounds is a lot of gas. <laughs> but the fifth little planet doesn't feel down. Not with so many friendly moons around. There are a lot of moons. Dry red Mars looks a bit rusty. All those storms can make a planet dusty. But the fourth little planet never sheds a tear. It has the tallest mountain of any planet here. Pale blue earth should be filled with strife. It must be hard being home to all this life. But the third little planet doesn't feel tense. It is quite proud to the be the most dense. Fiery Venus must feel rather fraught. 900 degree temperatures sure are hot. But the second little planet never cries. It loves being the brightest planet in the sky. Super fast Mercury could sing a sad tune and must get lonely without any moons. But the first little planet never feels bad. Being closest to the sun is reason to be glad. Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Proud to be unique, nothing could be better. Eight little planets going round the sun, being happy what they are and ready for some fun. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book.